Kurt, okay? Every sport has its proving ground. For mountaineering, it's Everest. For skiing, it's Alaska. For surfing, Jaws. For us, that proving ground has been Utah. But the sport's still young, and we truly won't know until we step out of our comfort zones and off this continent. It's just human nature to want to explore. We are for sure super far from home. We're in the middle of the middle of nowhere. If you can find the center point of nowhere, it's inside the center point. You got to be a certain kind of dude to want to come out here and rough it out in a tent and not have a shower for two weeks and <laughs> eat yak meat or God knows what kind of meat we're eating. <laughs> you know? Dude, look at this place. You can't really just, you know, pick a spot on the map and go, hey, I'm going to go here. There's super unique type of elements that come into play that make up a riding zone like this. I think that thing's going to work, dude. That thing? Yeah. Well, it seems like the sport lately has been very race-oriented and very contest-oriented. And to me, mountain biking's always been about exploring and looking for new terrain and finding these natural features to ride on. That's really what makes these bikes so cool and separates it from BMX or cross country. These bikes can ride this terrain that no other bike can. And to me, that's what it's all about. guy like Robbie Borden is hurt and he can't walk, you know, it's serious. Damn it! Getting hurt here is not like getting hurt back in Europe or North America, you know, like, the hospitals here are not as good. No one wants to take any more risk, but at the same time, if you see something you want to do, you're not just going to let it go by because you're worried of getting hurt somewhere that's not ideal, you know, you're still going to go for it. Places we're riding right now, there's just no comparison. I don't really know how to explain it, just complete freedom, ride whatever you want. You're gonna have to experience for yourself if you want to know what big mountain riding is all about. You can't explain it, and there's a lot of people that want to play the game, but you can't cry when the game plays you.